Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on solving a multi-step worded problem involving a percentage of an amount. Let's read the question. Emma, Aditya and Sophia are planning a trip. The cost of accommodation for the trip is $700. They have to pay a deposit of 29% of this cost. The rest of the cost is to be paid in 14 equal weekly instalments. Work out how much each weekly instalment costs. Now, in case you're not familiar with the word deposit, that's when we're allowed to pay some of the cost of something now, we call that the deposit, and then we pay the rest later. And what it's saying is that what we have to pay later, after we've paid the deposit, is broken into instalments. Instalments is when you uh, break a cost up that you have to pay into equal amounts. Now we're told the cost of the accommodation for the trip is $700 and you're also told the deposit is 29%. So we're going to pay 29% of the cost of the accommodation straight away. So we need to first work out 29% of $700. Now to do that we can turn the word of into times and the 29% we just convert that into a decimal. Now we know that 29% as a decimal is 0.29. So we just have to do that. So this is the deposit that we're paying. And then I'm gonna to have to do that on my calculator. So 0.29 times 700 is 203. Uh, and that's what dollars, so 203 dollars. And that's what we've paid immediately. Now what's left to pay, so left to pay, is we just subtract that $203 we've paid from the 700. So 700 minus just 203, and that's $497. So that's what we got left to pay. Now we're told that amount left to pay, the rest of the cost, um, that's broken down into 14 equal weekly instalments. So, that means that $497 we got left to pay, we're breaking down into 14 equal amounts. So we just need to divide that 497 by 14. So each instalment is equal to 497 divided by 14. And if I do that again on my calculator, 497 divided by 14, and that gives me $35.5. Generally with pounds and dollars, we have two decimal places, so it's going to be 0.50. So it's $35.50, as we'd say.